My mama's up and doing good. Ah, this might just be a happy ending. We don't know whose is whose. I'm assuming they're together. My miraculous recovery with that you this morning turned out to be short-lived. I don't like that she's pushing and nothing's coming out. I don't have to turn on the lights today. Well, all right. This is getting a phone call today. They're still alive. I think I already know. Hi, Kobe. I already know that. Uh, oh, my mama's up and doing good. Oh wow. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go grab those lambs and see if mom will take her take them. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go see if mommy remembers you. So the only thing is I uh I washed them off last night, so she might not remember them. You want your babies, mama? And I know there's a whole bunch of babies down there waiting for me. It's gonna be a busy morning. Hi, Mom. Do you remember your babies? Those are your babies. Those are your babies. Aww. Do you remember them? Those are yours. I don't know how much milk she has, but we'll let these guys try to figure life out. Ah, this might just be a happy ending. Oh my god. Oh, maybe not. She likes the one. They're the same. Okay, we'll see if they'll spawn. I gotta go down yonder. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of lambs. There's a baby there. And that's probably her baby too. Are those two yours? Okay. There's one wandering down there. Oh, there's two. Two there. Did they actually stay together? There's two there. And two here. But we don't know whose is whose. I'm assuming they're together. So I'm gonna say, wow, good moms, you actually stayed together. Okay guys, I'm going to organize and get back to you. Good morning guys. It's uh, Thursday, it's a gong show in there. I think I've got them kind of where they need to be. Um, I need to make a bottle, so just that. Colostrum. This is for those uh, twins that were born late last night. They are up drinking out of mom. Mom doesn't have a whole lot of milk, so I'm just supplementing them for the day until she comes into her milk. Hopefully she comes into her milk. So I use the powdered milk because it's easy. It's quick. And um, I'm usually in a hurry. And if she had enough milk, I would just leave them or try to milk her out myself and feed her. But this works in a pinch and they need fed. They haven't been fed since uh, 10 o'clock last night. So we do what we gotta do. Okay, let's go and see these uh, 
let's go see this show of the gong. I might be wrong, but I think she had three. They're all about the same dryness, whereas all the other ones were wet. The wet ones were hard because all the mums liked all the babies. So she was only with one. Um, these had found other areas and other mums to be with, so I'm hoping this works, but we will check back. Um, this one, I think, just had two. This one had one, and I just helped her deliver another one. So there's her brand new one. Um, this is the one that was sharing lambs with that one. So that one and that one were loving the same lambs, so I had to basically guess. So I brought two down with her, and then she had another one. So I don't really know. This is the mommy from last night, and I'm going to feed you. Yeah. So she's looking so much better today, but you can see there's quite a bit of blood. That's from my hand. Actually, that was from the lamb, I think. Like, when I pulled the lamb out, they were just, they were really, really bloody. That's why I washed them off, because they were not getting licked, for sure. She's so much alert. So much more alert this morning. Can't believe it. All right. And then, that's it for this morning, but that was... Okay, well, maybe that felt like a lot more than it was. So you've missed a bunch today. My miraculous recovery with that you this morning turned out to be short-lived. She was, I think, having a surge of hormones because she had a stillborn lamb still inside her that she ended up lambing out when I was eating breakfast. And when I came out, she had passed. So it's my third you. Now she is an old you. She is probably, she's one of my very last uh, Dorset Rito crosses that I have. I bought them in 2012, 2013, and they were already a, a few years old. So, um, I don't know. I, I was surprised that she was alive this morning. I'm, I'm not going to lie. The, the birth was really traumatic last night. It was even traumatic for me and I've seen a lot of stuff and, uh, I felt almost sick when I went to bed last night. It was that, it was traumatic on me, it was traumatic on mom, and all I did was just focus on making sure those babies didn't die. And I see that uh, they are in the bottle baby pen, doing really well, so they're fine. Uh, probably good I pulled them out last night and just got them in there and socialized, so it's not a real stress on them, but a real disappointment. All afternoon, we have been seedering the next group to get bred, so, because I went away, I pushed off my March lambing group and it is just such an overlap of jobs right now and I'm just on my last thread. I'm really tired and there's been a lot of sorting and organizing. And because I missed that scan, uh, it's just thrown everything kind of in a, in a in turmoil. What I ended up doing with those ewe lambs, I'm gonna keep the Rito sired and the Ile-de-France sired ones back and I'm going to rebreed them. But my group right now that I'm breeding in April is too big. So I'm going to wait and breed those in July uh, just to top up this pen because this pen will be probably under 100 by then. Uh, so I think that'll fit better with the flow of everything, but it just means I'm feeding those ewes, ewe lambs longer. So they're just on a maintenance program now, probably the cheapest ration that I, that I have. Uh, the Suffolk ones I'm actually selling to Belinda, so she's on her way right now. She'll be here any second. I had everything torn down and then I had to put it all back up again because I need to load out of that same chute. So the good thing is I sorted all of these yesterday, so Belinda's were already set aside. They're in their own pen. They'll be easy, they'll be easy to move. <laughs> easy for you lambs, uh, which isn't easy, but at least they're organized. 
So that is pretty much what you've missed. There has been no lambing since since that craziness this morning. The one you that I thought had triplets had quads. So we have another set of quads. It's kind of crazy, all the quads this, this go around. We'll see what tonight brings after Belinda leaves. I wanna process those lambs. And then tonight I have a conference call uh, because I sit on a board. So conference call on my birthday, which kind of sucks <laughs> and I'm exhausted. Uh, so yeah, it's my birthday today and I'm feeling my age. <laughs> no place I'd rather really be is here with them, with you guys and with my family. So it's all good. Look at it, it's already up. That's one of them and that's the other. Good babies. Already. You're doing good. That makes you feel better. So I have the pen all the way opened up to the water bowl, which is so nice. And then I don't have to um, put pails along the end for them. Um, I have to do this until these pens get far enough back, but look at her little lambs. Where's your other one? Oh, there it is. Yes, she has like um, taken ownership of this whole area, which doesn't bode well for the rest of these ewes, but they must be able to get through her barricade. I just wanted to show you the lambs from this morning. There's the triplets and they're looking good. Really cute. Mm -hmm. So I think I guessed okay. I haven't seen her being mean to many. This one is good with, with the uh, twins and they're about the same size. So sometimes when I come into that mess of lambing, I don't know who's who, I go by kind of, you know, are they about the same dryness? Do they, do they all feel a bit wet? Uh, that's another thing I look for. And then just similarities. Do they look about the same in size? Not, not that all lambs are the same in size, we all know, but, um, and then just, you know, do their ears, do they have the same kind of ears and, and markings and stuff like that. That's the one good thing about having different breeds. Sometimes the lambs look a little bit different from you to you. Here's the, here's the one that I delivered this morning. So there's those two. Hi, Mama. And last but not least, we have the quads. And I opened up her pen to make it bigger. Oh my God, it's thundering and snowing out right now. There you are. That's a second storm this week. That's weird. And it's legit snowing. It's freezing out. So yeah, everybody's happy. Now I'll have to take two of these guys out tomorrow and one of the triplets. Oh, and one of these triplets. So I have to tag all these guys right now. And just like every night, 6 p.m., we have a lovely lady. Now, I don't know how long she's been in labor. I was out here half an hour ago and I didn't see her. So I might just move her up and just do an internal because I don't like that there's blood hanging out of her. But yesterday I overreacted and it didn't end well. So now I'm now I'm just questioning even <laughs> what my natural instincts are. I just don't know. that she's pushing and nothing's coming out. It's never usually a good sign. Okay, I might move her and check her.
耳机。Beautiful black baby. And there's another one. Oh my god, I don't believe you have two of that size. Oh, I'm so sore. Too much. Too many gates to see. nice lambs, but they were really hard to pull. Oh. 